Good evening. How are you today, students? Good evening. Good evening, Good evening teacher. I'm Good evening. fine. Okay, that's good. Amazing. How are you, Saul? Hi. Hi. Hi, hello. Hi, everybody. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you, Saba? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, nice. Good mm -hmm. to see you. What about you, Eduardo? How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. You? Okay, nice. Very good. Okay, we're about to start with today's class. Um, how are you, Carla? Okay. Let's see, Eric, how are you today? Eric is not there. Teacher, yeah, yeah. teacher do you understand uh, section three? Uh, yeah. Exercise three point uh, ten. Ah, you finish. <clears throat> Okay, very good. Nice. Okay, Saul, uh, did you finish exercise 3.1? Okay. Okay. Okay, students, uh, basically, uh, in this moment, we're going to start with today's class, and at the end, we're going to have a short time to review the platform, right? Okay. Ready? Yes. <laughs> okay, very good. Maggie, how are you today, Maggie? Are you there? Maggie is from her house, I think. Okay, that's good. Okay, students. Because of the time, we're gonna start right now, right? Okay, very good, here we go. Okay, let me see. Okay. Okay, students, uh, basically we are going to continue with uh, today's class. Uh, this is module number two. And the topic for today's class will be what? Placement of adjectives. Okay, very good. Thank you, Saba. Very good job. Okay, what about this one? Job profiles. Perfiles de trabajo. Yeah. Perfiles de trabajo. Very good. Y este son los? La forma de aplicar los objetivos, creo que va. Okay, very good. It's like, uh, hmm. como aplicarlos y en qué lugar va. Okay, that's good. Nice. Okay, student. Uh, I know that today is Monday. You look like a sad, boring, <laughs> but uh, today class we, we're gonna do our best, right? Vamos a intentar hacer lo mejor, así que please wake up. Okay. It's gonna be one hour only. Let's go with this. Okay, let's see. Uh, did you remember that just, uh, I mean, the last week we were talking about work where the people work and what the people do and if the people like or not his or her job right okay very good uh we're gonna play a little game in order to start with today's class and we're gonna practice as a feedback right these three questions where does he work right yeah right what does he do how does he like it ¿Se recuerdan de esas preguntas? Sí. Yep. Ok, la yep. primera. What does it mean? ¿Dónde trabaja? ¿Dónde trabaja? Yeah, very good. The second one. ¿Qué haces en el trabajo? ¿Qué haces? Uh -huh. nice. eh, ¿Te gusta lo que haces? ¿Te yeah. gusta lo que haces? How does he like it? Ok, eh, si vamos a hablar directamente de esa persona, es how do you like it, right? But oh, in this case, as. Okay, nice. Okay, students, uh, let's see this. Uh, what we're gonna do? 
the same, right? It's gonna appear a picture here, over here, and you have to guess. Okay, let's start with this. Okay, what we have here? Where does he work? Where does he work? He work in airplane. Okay. Oh, no, no sé cómo se dice aeropuerto. <laughs> Airport. Airport. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you, Saba. Really good job. Saba, can you ask this question? Okay, teacher. What does he do? Okay, mention a name of uh, your classmate. Ah, okay. Uh, don Eduardo Alas, please. He, he's a pilot and a uh, pilotea un... He's a pilot of a, a airplane. Okay, okay, very good, nice. Thank you, <laughs> really good work. Okay, Eduardo, can you ask this question and mention a name of your classmate? Vane Mendoza. Okay. okay. Ask this question. How does he like it, Vane? Yes, I like it. And, okay. and I love it. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, very nice. Good job. Thank you. Really good work. Okay, continue with this. In this case, yeah, he looked like happy, right? He's really happy. Okay, obviously, he really liked his own job. That's amazing. Okay, continue. And we have this one. Okay. This one. Let me see. Bane, uh, can you ask this question, right? To one of your partner? Um, Carlo Maña? Carla? Okay, ask this question. Where does he work? Okay, Carla, I'm sorry. Mm. Office police, sir? Police? Office police? Okay, in the other way around. Police officer. Yeah, very really nice. But okay. where does he work? Where? What does he work? Ah, okay. This one, where? 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 Uh -huh, Carla? Donde trabaja? Yeah, yeah. Where? Where does he work? Um, is police station? Station yeah. police? Yeah, very good. <laughs> police station, really nice. Thank you. Okay, nice. Carla, continue. Ask this question to one of your partner. What does he do? Okay. Um, uh, Uh, with Montalvo. Okay, with. Are you there? Hi, teacher. Hello. What does he do? I don't know. He he takes the bad people. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, very good, nice. <laughs> but remember that he is a police officer, right? Yeah. Okay, very good, nice. With Montalvo, ask these questions. I, uh, somebody will look happy. Um, Eric. Okay, Eric. Okay, ask this question to Eric. With. Uh, how does he like it? Okay. Yes, I like it. Yes? Yes, I. I like her. Okay, okay, but in this case, Eric, we are talking about this uh, police officer, right? We're gonna answer with. How does he like it? Yeah. Yes, he. He really like yes, it. He, I like her. Okay, okay, it's, it's, uh, without I, solo he. Yes, he like it. Yes, he like her. Yeah, very good. In that way, or you can say, yes, he does. Las dos son correct, right? Right. Okay, very good. Nice. Good job, students. Uh, okay. Whew. It's uh, too hot today, right? But continue with this. Nice. The, uh, this exercise, it was just as a feedback 
uh, from last week class, right? Okay. We are gonna continue with this and we got lesson objective for today's class, students. Right, uh, somebody who help me to read it, please. By the end of the class, you will learn placement of adjectives. Yep. Particularly, you will learn B plus adjective and adjective plus none. Very good, nice. Thank you, Eduardo, really good work. Okay, now, Saba, it's your turn. Thank you, teacher. By the end of this class, you will be develop prediction and inferencing skills. After reading and discussing an art article on job profiles. Okay, very nice. Good work. Okay, students, basically today- Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Today we're gonna talk about um, adjectives but we're gonna use it with be at the beginning, an adjective, and we're gonna use it with noun at the end, right? How come? We're gonna see in a minute, right? And also we are going to develop a reading skill. Okay, nice, very good work. Okay, students, uh, continue with this. And also, uh, do you remember that all the time we're gonna have useful sentences during the class, right? Okay. Uh, we have useful sentences. Okay. Okay, Maggie. Hello, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. I hope you're really okay. Let's see. What does it mean, dangerous? Dangerous. Peligroso. Okay, very nice. Okay, yeah. Good job. Thank you. Okay, let's see. What about this one? How do you say it? Stressful. Mm -hmm. eh, estresante. Yeah, very good. Nice. Mm -hmm. Like this, right? When we are working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, nice. What about this one? Grandioso. Okay. Te, 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 terrible. Te, no, no sé, terrible. Grandioso. Okay, no. okay. Terrifico. <laughs> terrifico, grandioso. Okay. Who say grandioso? Terrifico. Grandioso. Ah, Eduardo. Es cierto. You're right. This is, <laughs> this is a positive adjective, right? Este es grandioso. Fantástico. Eh, Entonces, the difference between these two words. Tenemos terrific is positive, right? Terrific. Ter terrible es malo. Uh -huh. Terrible. 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 It's a negative adjective. You can write down if you want. Terrific, grandioso, y terrible, terrible, mm -hmm. right? For example, for me, you are a terrific group. Uh, okay. <laughs> Fine, thanks. Teacher. Okay, that's good. Thanks, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Let's see. Terrific, terrible, right? This is positive, and this is negative. Okay, cuando escuchen terrific, no significa algo malo, sino que es grandioso, genial, fantástico. Y terrible, si es algo mal. Okay, really nice. Good work. Okay, student, repeat please. Dangerous. 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 <coughs> And now we're going to have stressful. Stressful. Okay, really good work. Terrific. 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 Okay. Terrible. 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 Again, terrible. 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 Uh, remember that all the time you're gonna see this um, L E or it's the ble at the end. You're gonna say ball. Ball. Terrible. Uh, have you ever seen a uh, cómodo? How do you say cómodo in English? Comfort. Soft. Comfortable. Com Comfortable. Yeah, very good. Nice. Comfortable. <laughs> Comfortable. 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 Okay, very good. In that way, we're going to uh, practice these uh, words in order to get the right pronunciation, right? Terrible, terrible, terrific. 
of the Great. 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 May I continue? Yes. Yeah, awesome. Very good. Okay, students, uh, basically we're going to see adjectives, but at the beginning of this, we need to know the definition of these words because uh, last week class we were discussing, but just, you know, a little bit. Now we're going to see further, right? Okay, very good. Uh, who, who wants to help me to read the definition of adjectives? Once again, me teacher. Okay, so I will touch it. Go ahead. Okay, an adjective is word that describe describe. No, sé cómo es. Yeah, describe. Describe a noun or pronoun such such as persons, place, thing, or idea. An adjective culture culture to be plus adjective. Okay, very good, nice, really good word. Saul Sanchez, good work. Okay, basically, students, an adjective describe several things. For example, a noun, guess a noun. Nombre. Yeah, very good, nombre. Entonces, nombre. an adjective va a describir a un nombre, como así. Eh, imagínense el nombre eh, Edwin, that's my name, right? Uh, it's a wonderful name. Uh, an adjective for Edwin will be, podría ser, que okay. uh, Edwin es muy enojado. Uh, this is an adjective, right? Because describe my, that, this noun, right? Okay, uh, in English will be mean. Edwin is a little bit mean, right? And also describe a pronoun that is the same. El pronombre es lo mismo que el nombre, solo que no usa más nombres, sino que he, she, it, and so on, right? And also, it can describe person, place, for example, a place, uh, El Salvador, a beautiful place. Dangerous. <laughs> ah, dangerous too. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. Hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> okay, thank you. For example, thing could be a car. Um, beautiful car, car. Yeah, the car is fast. A beautiful car, very good. Or idea, right? I have a great idea. Yeah. Great. Great idea, right? Yeah, that's okay. it. Okay, very nice. Uh, but now, what we're going to see is how to use these adjectives uh, and how to, you know, establish a really good placement. For example, at the beginning, we're going to use to be plus adjectives. How come? Vamos a utilizar el to be plus un adjectives. ¿Cómo así? Veamos, ¿qué es el verbo to be? Ser o estar. Very good. And we have three. ¿Cuál es Ser o estar. B. Am, are, is. Is, are, very good. Am, is, are, according to the, uh, according to the pronouns, very good. Okay, let, let's see an example here. Okay, what we have here is this. Okay, we have to be plus adjectives. Basically, uh, we have this, John is old. John is old. What happened with John? John is viejo o está viejo. Yeah, yeah, very good, nice. And basically, what happened here? We have a verb B. What is the verb B? Is. Is. And the adjective? All. Yeah, all. Okay, very good. This is all. Okay, and thus we have the adjective and the verb B. As you see here, uh, we can form these kind of uh, sentences in this way. Podemos formar estas oraciones de esta forma. John is all. John is all. John o Juan está viejito, right? Que es el camino que todos llevamos. Así que, <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, don't worry about it. Okay, let's see. In this case, student, you see, will be last. Entonces vemos una forma muy sencilla 
de formular esta, esta sentence using the verb be plus an adjective, utilizando el verbo to be plus un adjetivo. Ok, very good. Ok, we can do it in positive and the negative way, right? For example, in this case, how do you say it? John is not John. John. Ok, John, very good. Uh, what happened here? We got the verb be. What is the verb be? John. Is. Is. Okay. Uh, what is the adjective? John. Is. Is John. 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 That's a good word. Okay, uh, but this, in this case, we're going to have... Negative. It's a negative form. Negative form. Why? Because... It's not. We have not, right? John is not John. De las dos formas... Eh, no, no, no le ayudamos a John. Siempre en esta le decimos. Viejo, Siempre ¿no? sale fregado. Oh, okay, Siempre no. sale viejo. Oh, yeah. <risa> <risa> okay. Solo es otra forma. Yeah. Solo es otra forma. Más, nice. Good work. más lenta ahora. <risa> yeah, as you see here, it's really easy. You have to put a verb plus an adjective. Solo tienen que poner el verbo to be más el adjetivo. Obviamente, hablamos de otra persona o cosa que estamos refiriendo. En this case, we talk about John. Ok, you got it? Yes. Very good, nice, good work. Ok, excellent, continue. Ok, um, we have these things. That's really easy, right? This boy look, look really happy. happy. Okay, yeah, very good. Like all of you. Okay, nice. Okay, uh, how do you say this one in English? He's happy. Happy. Okay, very nice. He's happy. It's a simple sentence, negative or positive? Positive sentence. Positive. 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 Very good. But if you want, notice this. If you want to, you know, to make a questions with this sentence, what you gonna do? Change. Or change verb B. Very good. Uh, ask these questions. Is he happy? Yeah. Is right. she happy? Yeah, is he happy? And the short answer could be yes, he is. No, he isn't, right? Yes. Yeah, for example, if I ask, uh, let me see, uh, let me see, Neida. Leida. Sí. Yeah. Is Saúl Ardón happy? Yes, he is. Ok, ok, very good, nice. Ahora sí, ahora sí ya se ha tío. Ok, very good. Good work. Ok, students, basically we have a lot of adjectives here. We have, how do you say this one? Tired. Power, very good. Tired. You look like a... Tired. I want to go to sleep, right? Tired. Okay, this one? Nervous. 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 Very good. Nice. Tall. 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 Very good. Happy. 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 Because I'm happy and so on, right? Okay, round. What is round? Round. Round. Alrededor. Round. Yeah, yeah, it could be alrededor, but in this case, uh, we're going to talk about shape. Shape. Shape, for example. Okay. Um, give me a circular. Yeah, yeah, very good, like this. It's round. Circular. Mm, okay. Yeah. What are <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, we were talking about uh, round, like uh, alrededor or cerca de aquí. But in this case, round will be circular, like a circle. Yeah, like a circle. Redondo. Red mm. Very nice. Good work. Okay, the students continue. This one is cold. 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 Yeah, like this. Uh, like our country, right? Okay. This one? Hot. 
<laughs> hot. You are hot. 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 Like a caliente. Yeah, caliente, very good. Okay, esta sí la sabemos bastante, right? Okay, hot. 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 I'm sweating a lot. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Hungry. Okay. Angry. Angry. Okay. Angry. 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 Angry is the hambre. De, de. Okay. De, de angry. Yeah, but, but in this case, angry. Angry. No. enojado. Enojado. Uh -huh. Yeah, enojado. Yeah, angry. Ricky. Y hambriento sería? Hungry. 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 Yeah. Oh, Ricky. Angry. Okay, nice. Okay, students, basically, as you see, uh, we use all the time adjectives, but sometimes we don't know that they are adjectives. Todo el tiempo utilizamos adjetivos, pero algunas veces no sabemos que son adjetivos. Okay, now we are going to see adjective, right? Okay, students, let's see. Uh, let me see, Saúl Sánchez, how do you say this one? Eh, ¿Cuál? Ah. Uh. I am tired. Okay, very good. Nice. Good pronunciation. But this and Thanks. What does it mean, Saul Sanchez? Estoy cansado. Okay, tired. It means cansado. Very good. Estoy cansado. Thank you. Really good work. Okay, students. Espero que no sea cierto, Saul Sanchez. Okay. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> uh, continue with Saul Ardo. You, you are nervous. Nervous. Okay, nervous. Very good. What does so, it? Tú estás nervioso. Yeah. Nervioso, nerviosa. Yeah, nice. Uh, at the beginning, right? But not now. Cuando iniciamos las clases, sí, pero ahorita ya no so. <laughs> Okay, good work. Okay, uh, let me see, Maggie. Uh, he is a Es que aquí no, no, no logro ver, teacher. Okay, C-A-L-L. Tall. -L. So, tall. So. Oh, very good. Tall. Nice. So. It is tall. Tall. Okay. I, I'm not alto. So. Uh -huh. You don't know the meaning of this word? Él es alto. Yeah, very good. Good work. Like me, right? Eh, con la zona de un metro cincuenta. Ok, nice. <laughs> it worked. Ok, that's good. Ok, let's continue with this. Eric. She is happy. Ok, very good. What does it mean, Eric? Ella es feliz. Ok, very good. Who? Carla, Vane, <laughs> Saba, Maggie. All of the ladies are happy, right? Okay, thank you. Oh, yes. Okay, good work. Uh, let me see. Uh, Carla? This one? Yeah, teacher. This it's one? brown. Brown, what does it mean? It's brown, it's circle. It's... Uh -huh. What does it mean? I don't know. Redondo. Yeah. Redondo. Es redondo. Es redondo. Yeah, nice. Good work. We were talking about uh, things, right? Because we use it. Okay, nice. And so on, right? For, for example, we are cold, they are hot, they are angry, right? Angry. Okay, students, very good. Okay, as you see here, we're going to use adjective. And before adjective, we can use a verb be is, am, or are. Do you, uh, everything is clear? Clear? Questions? It's clear. Clear. Okay. Clear. Okay, nice. Okay, students, and now we have uh, this one, right? Uh, this is almost the same. Basically, uh, John is old, John is not John, Y aquí de las dos formas, pues John está ahí. Ok, nice. Okay, good. And she's nervous. Is she nervous? 
That's the question, right? When I change the verb be at the beginning. Okay, very good. But now, students, it's time for you to practice what we have learned during this uh, class with the verb be. We're going to put it into practice. Ready? Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, we have eight sentences, right? Uh, we got brown. What is brown? Redondo. What is cheap? Cheap. Barato. Uh -huh. Brillante. Brillante. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is... Barato. Barato. Very good. Barato. Cheap. Take note if you don't know this first. Okay. Cheap. Barato. Soft. Soft. Suave. 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 Comfortable. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. Suave, suave. Very good. Thank suave. you. Okay, heavy. Pesado. Yeah. Pesado. Slow. Lento. Despacio. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Dulce. Dulce. Very good. Ugly. Amado. Feo. Feo. <laughs> okay, very good. Feo. Blue. Azul. 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 All of these words, ¿qué son, chicos? Adjective. Adjectives. But why? Because uh, he describe, describe the noun. The noun. Nouns describe things, places, and so on. Very good work. Okay, students. Uh, let's figure it out these uh, sentences. Vamos a descifrar cada una de estas sentences. What are we going to do here? ¿Qué le hace falta acá? The verb. The verb be. Verb be. Very good. Okay. Eh, para hacerlo más ahí rapidísimo, voy a ir, mention your name and you're going to say what we're going to have in each sentence. Okay. Let's start with this. Let me see. Let me start with Saúl Aradón. Uh, you will be the lucky guy. Wait. Okay, break the eyes. Go ahead. The hair is uh, round. Brown. Very good. Nice. Good work. Uh, let me see. Uh, Lisbeth. Um, the amongst the uh, the amount Diamond is cheap. Okay, is or are? And the diamond is in are. Yeah, yeah, very good. Diamond? Are cheap. Okay, very good. Good work. Nice. Okay, Leda? But it's aren't, no? Below. <coughs> Pillows are soft. Very good, thank you. Okay, uh, Eric. And, and Barlo is heavy. Okay, very nice. Good work. Okay, students. Uh, let's see. Uh, Bunny. This, this one, number five. Turtles are slow. Very good. Congratulations. Really good. Okay, Carla. Chocolate is sweet. Okay, very good. Nice. Good work. Okay, number seven with Montalvo. A rose isn't ugly. Okay, very good. Nice. Congratulations. And Saba, you gonna finish? Bananas are in blue. Okay, very good work, students. Basically, uh, what we did here was to, you know, to use this formula, right? To be plus adjectives. You see, it's really easy, right? Notan es bastante fácil. Yep. Okay, you have questions? No questions? Okay. Okay, very good. But now, students, we have the other size, right? We have adjective. Now, we're going to do it in the other way around, basically. 
our form. Let's see. Uh, we have this adjective plus nouns. Okay. We have active ingredients. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. What is this? Ingredientes activos. Okay. Very good. Ingredientes activos. Yeah. It's like a medicine, right? <clears throat> okay. So, okay. What about this one? Oh, back pain. Pain. Back back pain. Pain. Back the same. Okay, very good. What does it mean? Pago no pago. retrasado, no. Pago okay. retrasado. Retrasado. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, imagine that I give, uh, you know, some money to Sarah, right? Producto, but the product it doesn't work it doesn't work what happened there i am demanding to saba to return product okay <laughs> es una es una i'm not dancing right <laughs> okay, devolución. Okay, very good. Back pay. What about this one? Bad breath. Bad breath. Bad breath. Bad breath. Mala respiración. Malos hábitos. Aliento. Aliento. Very good. Mal aliento. Pero es cuando? Fuma. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, it could be, but in this case, bad breath. It smells bad. Mal aliento. Mal aliento. Bad habits. What is this? Bad habits. Malos hábitos. Mal hábitos. For example, no wash your hands. No se lava. Yes. Your night is so bad. Don't brush the teeth. Take a shower every day. Okay, that's good. That's all right. <laughs> nice. Okay, then we have this alphabetical order. Orden alfabetico. Orden alfabetico. Very nice, good. What about this one? This is really useful. Mal humor. Mal humor. Bad mood. Bad mood is malhumorado or the mal humor. It work. Okay, this one. Balance. Dieta balanceada. Dieta balanceada. Balance diet. Very good. It work and this one the best yes, friend. Mejor amigo. Yeah, very good. Best friend, right? Okay. Espero que tenga un mejor amigo. That's nice. <laughs> Grandioso, así que let's see. Okay, student, what we have here? We have all of these words are adjectives, right? Because describe something about this. This and this and this. It's all right. Okay, but let's see some example. Okay, Eduardo, help me to read, please. Fayano was my best friend. Okay, very good. What happened here? What is the adjective here? Best friend. Okay. Best. Best, best. Very good. And friend is that? No. 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 A compliment. It's a noun, it's a noun. Es un nombre. No, no, no. El amigo, right? Es un nombre. El amigo puede ser Carlos, Juan, Juanita. All right. Okay, in this case, best is the adjective plus a noun, friends. Okay, la fórmula es bastante básica. Acá ya no ponemos verb to be. Not, right? No vemos verbo to be acá. No verbo to be, no verbo to be. Y ahí. Okay, uh, what's happened here? We have the adjective plus nouns. Tenemos el adjetivo más un nombre. No. Uh, in this way, we use adjective too. En esta forma, ustedes pueden utilizar los adjetivos también. If Fiona was my best friend, then we have this one. Okay. Estaba, help me to read it, please. The... Workers are demanding their back pay. Okay, okay, very good. Nice. Workers are demanding their back pay. 
Okay, we have a verb here. Tenemos un verbo to be. Pero este verbo to be no está haciendo función con el adjective. ¿Con quién está funcionando? Con los trabajadores. Ok, ya. Yeah. Con los trabajadores y con este verbo, el ing. In this, in this case, we're going to have back page alone, right? Back as an adjective, okay? As a noun. Ok, and so on. Y así sucesivamente. Everything is clear about this? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, very good, nice. Because we have a lot of example here, then later on. Okay, let's continue with this, students. We have a short conversation about uh, external things. Stephanie. Uh, so in this case, what we're gonna do, we're gonna basically to read this conversation in couples and then we are going to figure it out the adjectives, right? Okay, somebody who help me to read, I need a man and a lady. Me teacher. Okay, Saba, really good work, a man. Wants to do it? Me, teacher. Okay, Saul. Saul, you will be Richard and Richard. Uh, Go ahead. Okay. Hey, sir. No. Hi, Stephanie. I hear you had a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math and Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The, the students are terrific. Uh, how are things with you? Not bad. I am fire, fire, fire now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's very stressful job and sometimes it's dangerous. Sorry for you, Richard. <laughs> okay. okay, nice. Good work. Okay, really nice students. Uh, basically, this is a really short uh, conversation. We did it nice. Okay, what happened here? We get a conversation between two people, right? And you're going to find some adjectives where we have an adjective word. Um, new job. New job. In this case, we're going to have a verb B plus adjectives or adjective plus a noun. What? Which one? Um, new job. Okay. Um, yeah, noun, fear, and plus objective. Okay, okay. First, we have? Yeah, noun. Uh -huh. Okay, remember the formula, right? We have this. Uh, to be plus adjectives and adjective plus noun. What happened here? Uh, adjective plus uh, noun. Uh, noun. Plus noun. Uh -huh. Adjective. Okay. okay, students. New is an? Adjective. Adjective. In job. It's noun. It's noun. It's noun. Good work. Okay. Then we have uh, some other. You can find it. Bear to be. Bear to be plus adjective. Yeah, good, but work. It's great. It's great. It is great. Okay. Terrific. Very good. Terrific. Terrific. Very good. Are terrific. Esto dijimos que era positive or negative. Positive. Positive. Entonces, the students are terrific. Verbi plus an adjective. Okay, student. Uh, let's continue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this one. Exactly. 
Exciting. 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 Very good. That, that's exciting. Very good. Aquí tenemos un verbi plus an adjective. Very good. Okay, continue with this. Okay. What about this one? Restful. 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 Adjectives in the right way. Básicamente tenemos dos posiciones. Primero el verbo to be plus an adjective. And later on you're going to find el adjetivo plus a noun, right? Está fácil. ¿Alguien tiene questions or doubts about this? No doubts? No doubts. Ok, nice. Continue with this, students. Ok, let's see. Okay, I need somebody who help me to read it again. Okay. I'm a reader. Eduardo, somebody else? Leida. Me. Okay, okay. Okay, Richard. Eduardo, you will be Richard, and Leida, you will be Stephanie. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at uh, Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. And how are, how are things with you? Not bad. I'm a fire, firefighter now, you know. That's, a, that's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it is dangerous. Okay, very good. Nice students, really good work. I like it. Okay, congratulations, you did it good. Okay, so basically this is a chart a conversation. I don't know if you have a problem with the pronunciation of these words. Somebody who has a problem, just let me know. I'm gonna be here. No problem? No. Okay, very good, nice. Okay, students, come on my problems. Uh, vamos a ver, Maggie, please help me to translate into Spanish this. <laughs> uh, hi, Stephanie. I heard you have a new job. Okay. Uh, now in Spanish? Huh? In, in Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. Hola, Stephanie. Uh, tengo un nuevo, uh, no, un trabajo, un nuevo trabajo. Okay, okay. Uh, hey. 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 <laughs> hey. Hola, hola, Stephanie. Okay. Ten, tengo un nuevo trabajo. Ok, ok. Ahí estamos bien. Pero acá, eh, Maggie, yo, 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 yo es, es, escucho. Escucho. Es, escucho. Tú tienes un nuevo trabajo. Ok, ok. Very good. Nice, Maggie. Pero en este caso, yo, yo, okay. escuché. Okay. Escuché. Yeah. Que tienes que tiene un nuevo trabajo. Ok, very good. Aquí en que no tenga en pasado, pero vamos a suponer, right? Porque en español ah, es muy diferente. Es, ah, okay. Okay. In this case, students, sometimes we're going to try to make compensations, right? Algunas veces cuando traducimos algo, vamos a tener que hacer una compensación. ¿Qué es una compensación? Es una traducción no literal sino que se comprende. Ok, no tengan miedo si ustedes dicen, aquí le voy a inventar esto, pero si es invento, le entienden, inventen. Si es invento, no le van a inventar. No lo inventen, right? Ok, that's good. That's a compensation. Very good. Eh, ok, continue with this. Um, let me see, Eric. Sí, yo soy... What I am doing right now, teaching English. Professor. 
está enseñando matemáticas. Enseñando matemáticas. En la, matemáticas. En la, en la, en la, matemáticas. Hay clases de matemática en la, en la escuela Lincoln. La escuela Lincoln. Ya, yeah, okay, okay, nice, good work. Okay, Eric, as you see, you have a really nice partner, right? No te dejaron ahí solo, te ayudaron, te apoyaron. That's good, amazing. Okay, continue with this. Uh, this question, I really like it. How do, you, how do you like it? How do you like it? Nice questions. Okay, Lisbeth, what does it mean? How do you like it? And te gusta lo que haces? Okay, very good, nice. Uh, Leida, translate this, please. Es genial. Okay. Es bueno. Yeah. Los estudiantes son terribles. Oh. Así es, ¿verdad? Yeah, okay, that's good. Very good. I like it. But in this case, Leida, eh, terrific is... Estupendo. Good. Estupendo. Ah, perdón. Great, great. Lo confundí. Perdón, perdón. Okay, no problem. Ok. Por eso le gusta, porque los estudiantes son terri terribles. In this case, a student uh, has the, um, you know, the point of this activity, right? That you understand what you are being saying. Entiendo lo que usted dice. Okay, terrific is something positive. Grandioso. Grandioso. Terrible. Negative. Malo. Okay, very good. Uh, Leida, continue. Hola, hola, me escuchan. Ok, eh, creo que es que hay contigo, con las cosas que haces tú, algo así. Era una pregunta. Una pregunta, ¿cómo la traduciría usted? Si fuese que se lo preguntase a una amiga o a mí. ¿Cómo vas? ¿Cómo van las cosas contigo? ¿Cómo van? ¿Cómo van las cosas con vos? Very good. Nice. Good work. Ok, thank you, Leida. Very good work. Ok, let's continue with this. Uh, Pane. No mal. Soy un bombero ahora. Eh, ¿tú, sab ¿Tú sabes? Okay. ¿Tú sabes? Yes, nice. Thank you. Y Stephanie le dice, that's exciting. Eso es. Excitante. Bueno. <laughs> ok, ok, that's good. Here we have exciting. Exciting in Spanish is, esto es como fabuloso, grandioso, algo bonito, right? Aunque acá la palabra se puede malinterpretar, excitante, excitante, right? Emocionante. Emocionante, emocionante. very good, nice. Teacher. Pero, pero yo creo que está uh, aquí exiting dependiendo como que como le dijera yo que como la quieran utilizar pues o sea porque porque para mí excitante es como que eh, como usted dice bonito grandioso eh, con adrenalina yeah very good nice thank you Sam. perdón it's like this es así como como usted lo dice dependiendo el caso algo excitante para las mentes sanas, algo genial, grandioso, así, mm -hmm. con pura de sol, right? Pero eh, si vamos ahí por el barrio donde vivimos, eh, ah, no. <laughs> es otra palabra. Ok, sí. that's good. Yes. Ok, continue with this. Uh, I'm going to finish with uh, Saúl Sánchez. Eh, eh, ¿Cuál? Eh, sí, pero es muy estresante el trabajo. Ok, ok, very good. Continuo, continuo. Ya, yeah. ya, yeah, yeah, sure. Y a veces muy peligroso. Okay. Es peligroso. Yeah, very good, nice, thank you. Ok, students, basically, do, do you understand all of these conversations? I think so, right? Espero que sí comprendamos todo esto. Así que, eh, let's practice uh, as last time. Okay. Uh, let's see, Maggie, I'm going to practice with you. I'm going to be Richard. Maggie. Okay. Eh, pra practicar la lectura, teacher. Yeah, sure. You will be Stephanie. 
Ya. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching what a Lincoln High School. Okay, how do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Okay, no bad. I'm firefighter now. You know that. Okay. Yep. That that's exciting. Okay, yes, but it's very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. Okay, nice. Very okay. good. Okay. okay. Okay, thank you, Maggie. Good work. Okay, uh, basically we identify the adjective already. Tenemos dos tipos de adjetivos, el que empieza con el verb be plus an adjective y el adjective plus a noun, right? Okay, everything is clear? Do you have any questions so far? Yeah. Questions? No. It's clear. Okay, very good. Clear. Okay. Let me see. I want to tell you something, right? Okay. Let me see. Uh, on the platform, students, we have a knowledge check, right? Did you practice on this? Ya practicaron en el knowledge check? Yes. Yes, very good. Okay. Hey. I am not a teacher. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Everybody has to do it, right? Now, let's see something important here, right? Okay, let me see. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, students. What I want you to show you is that you have to work on the platform, right? It is important for you because you had to finish a section four and the midterm exam for this week. Tienen que terminar el midterm. ¿Qué tiene el midterm exam? Eh, veamos. Okay. Okay, eh, tenemos que terminar el midterm para esta semana. Eh, tiene varias partes, el de speaking, listening, scrambled sentences, and so on, right? You have to finish that part. Okay, let me see. Eh, teacher. Yeah. Eh, para esta semana, eh, ¿qué número, perdón? Eh, ¿Qué sección? Okay. Para así adelantar, pero porque me ha atrasado por okay. cuestión de trabajo. Yeah, very good. Okay, Saúl Sánchez, you see here? Está tres. Yeah. Right now we are in this, right? Ah, okay, okay. Thank you. You have to finish this one, knowledge check and midterm exam. What we have here, listening part, complete the conversation, scramble the sentences, select the correct word, select the question to complete the conversations, and complete that conversation. You have to finish this midterm exam. For this Para esta semana tienen que terminar todo, todo esto. Y las previas, right? Los previos que ya hemos visto anteriormente. Okay. okay. Uh, work on this when you have time. And if you have any question, you can ask me through WhatsApp, right? Okay. Okay, students, do you have any questions so far? Questions? No. 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 Okay, very good. Okay, students, thanks for being here. That's a really nice students, right? Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye and see you tomorrow, right? You bye. too, teacher. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. a todos. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.